Welcome back to the Meeple Marathon. We have uh, another bonus video for you today uh, on this West Kingdom Wednesday, and that is our storage solution for Paladins of the West Kingdom. Now, my objective with uh, any storage solution is to enable me to not only get the game to the table faster, store it up faster, and um, reduce the amount of baggies in the game, um, because I'm not a huge fan of baggies. I just I don't think they look good. I think they make for a very um, you know messy setup. So here we have a few baggies, but not many. Um, for the most part, I don't mind baggies around carts. Uh, I certainly don't want them fly around loose and um, tuck boxes specifically for cards. Deck boxes usually are just too big. So um, we've got the um, virtue. Uh, counters uh, for the individual players in here um, or no for the individual tracks and so those are just set off to the side then we have uh, kind of this is a little bit of a puzzle but paladins easily has got a I believe the most content to it and is the hardest to get back in the box but I get it all back in the lid closes all the way so let's uh, pay attention here I've got uh, a couple resources here, which really are, um, you know, some of the few resources that you are going to be grabbing from on a consistent basis. So these are uh, little mini storage boxes that I found at Michael's. I use the crayon and colored pencil sizes a lot in my storage solutions. The crayon size ones are perfect, actually, for deck boxes. But these come in little three packs, and uh, either in colored or in clear, and are literally like $1.99 for a three pack, and are just the perfect size. So I'll put a link in the description below for those. But my supplies and my coins are in these little, and obviously when I go to play the game, I just pop this open, set it off to the side, and I am ready to go. So like I said, my cards are laid in here in somewhat of a hodgepodge uh, puzzle fashion, but basically, um, you know, you've got some of uh, your, um, you know, your miniature cards in two separate bags, and your full-size cards in two separate bags. So those are all baggied. Again, I'm okay with them being in bags because you're gonna pull them all out anyways. You're not gonna be drawing out of those baggies. And then this is what helps make it work. This is, I left the sticker on here specifically so you guys could see this is a Plano 3400 series, the six to 12, um, basically because you can add or take away this center row here, um, but I have used all 12. So let's take a look inside at what, um, how we have this stored up here. So. Basically, all of my various colored meeples are down here along the bottom. And then, uh, you know, for the most part, uh, all the houses, um, or uh, I forget what these are called, but, you know, these are the biggest ones. They take up about three, and I've even had to throw two in over here. Um, the reds and the greens are a little mixed up there. So this isn't a perfect storage solution. It's a little bit of a hodgepodge, but everything does fit into this Plano 3400 series. And all this stuff along the back, you're gonna be pulling out and building your board out at the beginning of the game. Then once the game starts, the only thing you're gonna be pulling and returning to is this front row here. So I'm not as fussed about this being a little messy in the background because I'm definitely going to be pulling out some of these blacks, some of these greens, and you know, nine of the blue, or not nine, but you know, I forget what it is, five or six of the blue tokens here. So, uh, but basically, all of the resources, all of the tokens, uh, all of the wood is in here except for these flat uh, track tokens, which. Um, are in the only baggie and then obviously all of my player boards are down here this um, you know I think that's like the first player scroll or something like that just tucks off to the side so all the um, boards sit nice and neatly on the bottom and then this is just kind of 
pay attention because this is how it, it goes back in. I do have one of these silica packs that I just jammed in there. It helps keep these boards from warping because it keeps it nice and dry in this box. But So my two full-size baggies of cards sit one on top of the other. And then what I kind of have to do is create like this crisscross pattern with the mini cards and then they share a slot crisscross pattern with uh, this setup here and so it's it's tight uh, but it's all in there and these can just kind of lay into one of these sets you could lay them in right here um, but there you go again it is tight but paladins easily is the hardest to store out of all of these West Kingdom games. So I consider this a win-win, uh, able to get this all in the box. It's clean, it helps me set up easily uh, and breaks down easily and everything's protected. So that is my storage solution for Paladins of the West Kingdom. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, including more storage solutions and more West Kingdom play, please consider subscribing to the channel. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.